Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here with Heinen's, and today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious mini seafood pot pies. The first thing we need to do is start with that pot pie filling. So in a large pot or a rondo over medium high heat, we're going to add in some bacon, and we just want to cook them until it becomes crispy. Once those bacon lardens are nice and crispy, just simply set them to the side, and then in the rendered bacon fat, we're going to cook off our seafood. Heinen's has fantastic frozen shrimp and base scallops, which will work excellently in this recipe. We do not want to cook them all the way through. All we're looking to do is get a quick little sear, maybe only one minute. Remember, they're going to continue to cook while in the oven. Set those to the side as well. And in that same pot on medium high heat, we're going to add in a little bit of butter and then some of Heinen's frozen mixed vegetables. This is perfect in this recipe. We just want to take the chill off of them. So give them a quick saute for maybe two to three minutes. And then at this point, what I like to do is to glaze with a little bit of cream sherry. Continue to cook it and stir it until the liquid is almost completely absorbed into the vegetables. And then at this point, we are going to add in some heavy cream. This is going to add some much needed fat and much needed flavor to this recipe. Cook it until it becomes very thick. Think Alfredo sauce. At this point, we are going to add back in our partially cooked seafood. Season it up with salt and pepper. Don't forget to add back in the crispy bacon lardens. And then what we want to do is mix this all together. We are going to divide them into little six ounce ramekins. In the meantime, though, I've got a sheet of puff pastry. What we want to do is take a little circle round cutter, cut them out, and then place them right on top of our ramekins that are stuffed with the pot pie filling. They can be in the inside or the puff pastry can go around the outside. Now, with a whisked egg in a bowl, we are going to brush the top of each of our puff pastry rounds. Then we're going to the oven at 425 degrees for between 15 and 20 minutes until those puff pastries are nice and golden brown. This looks absolutely fantastic. This is such a fun, easy, delicious weeknight meal. 